I am Anil Kumar and we are going to master the technique of comparing fractions with unlike denominators in this video. The strategy for us is cross multiplication, right? So that is the strategy which we are going to use. Let me write down some examples. So let us say we have 5 over 7 and let us say 3 over 5 right so and let me add some more numbers here 4 over let's say 9 and uh, 5 over let us say 10 and let me write down here 6 over some odd number 7 and then we'll write uh, 3 over 5 now what you need to do is you need to figure out uh, which one is greater which one is lesser which one is equal to in such cases right so that is to say in between you have to put a symbol. That symbol could be, it could be either greater than, so those symbols which we are looking for are either this, which means greater, right? Or it could be lesser, right? Or equal to. So one of these. So we have 5 over 7, 3 over 5 to compare, 4 over 9, 5 over 10 to compare, 6 over 7, 3 over 5 to compare. All have different denominators. Now how do you compare in such cases? Correct. Our strategy is cross multiplication. So we'll do cross multiplication. Cross multiplication really means multiply across, right? So 7 times 3. So when you do 7 times 3, what do you get? 21. So write 21 here, which is 7 times 3. 5 times 5 is 25. Now compare these two numbers. 25 is greater than 21. So we will write greater than here. Do you get the idea? Correct. Let's do it once again. 9 times 5 is 45. 10 times 4 is 40. Now 40 is less than 45, so I will write less than here. 7 times 3 is 21, 5 times 6 is 30, clearly 30 is greater than 21, so I get my answer. You got it, right? So that is how we are going to compare. Now follow these strategies and answer the following practice questions, right? So we have 2 over 3, 3 over 4, uh, 2 over, let's say 5, 3 over 5, okay? We could have... Uh, 1, 2 over 3, and uh, 1. So let's keep the whole number same. Uh, 3 over 3 over 7. Okay. Now, you need to compare these, right? So you can pause the video, write down your answer. So you need to fill it out, correct? Let me add some more practice questions for you. So we have uh, 2 over 2 over 10, and let us say 1 over 5. And then we have... Uh, 3 over 7 and 7 over 7 over 3 and let us put 2 over 9 and uh, 3 over 3 over let's say 11 okay now can you pause the video compare all of them and write down the answers quickly do it and then look into my solution here is my quick solution 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 2 is 8, and we know 8 is less than 9, so I'll put like this, right? 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 2 is 10, 10 is less than 15, so I get here. 10 is less than 15, so 2 over 5 is less than 3 over 5. 1 and 1 are same. Let us compare the fractions. 3 times 3 is 9, 7 times 2 is 14, 14 is greater than 9, so I should get here. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 times 1 is 10. Both are equal, so equal to comes in this place. 7 times 7 is 49. 3 times 3 is 9. Clearly, 9 is less than 49. 9 times 3 is 27. 11 times 2 is 22. So 22 is less than 27. That's it. So that is how you should be comparing fractions with unlike denominators. Isn't that simple? It is. I hope you have understood the strategy. Do some more questions from your book. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.